Hello and welcome to my workshop. In the next set of videos, I will be reviving a project that I began last year but I never got to complete. The project is making a custom waste board for your snap maker and that was suggested by Marcelo Brights. My idea is this. In video number one, we'll be using the existing board as a template to make a new one. Video number two, we are going to do the exact same board using the CNC alone. And in video number three, we are going to be making a custom T-track so that we can have a sliding fence on the wasteboard. Now, I am going to link the previous episode in the description of this video. And I am also going to restart the project by revisiting the information of that episode, but doing things slightly differently. Now, let's see what I have in store. As you can see, my new waste board is a lot bigger than the original one. So we are not only going to be replicating it, we are also going to be adding uh, more holes for those little inserts that we can use to clamp our workpiece. So what we need to do now is center the old board onto the new one. And that's simply done by taking the width of the new board and the width of the old one, subtracting it, dividing it by two. And this is how we come up with those lines right here. Similar for the other ones as well. So now that we know where we need to center the board, all we have to do is ensure that the board touches absolutely all four sides of the rectangle that we drew. And once it's all good, we take our clamps and clamp it tight. Okay, we are also making sure everything is aligned while we clamp because the torque uh, does create a little bit of movement. So we do one right here. And if you want to be extra secure, we're going to take a third clamp and do one of the other corners as well. Now that we are done this, all we have to do is take the appropriate sized punches and go through each and every hole and mark where the holes should be. Now that we marked the holes, it is time to do the drilling. In the previous video, I covered one way of doing the drilling and I also ended the video by mentioning that they're the so-called stepped drill bits, i.e. drill bits with two different diameters, that can be used to do the exact same job. Well, here they are. I have two of them and both are courtesy of my local sharpening place. The longer one is a modified version of the Craig Jig drill bit and it is modified because the pilot's ending was much like this router bit right here flat. So I get the sharpening place to give it that V shape so I can cut into wood directly. The other one is a modified 3 8 drill bit. Uh, it was an old drill bit that I had lying around. It was dull so I gave it to them to see if they can modify it and they did. Uh, and they also kept the uh, brad point so that makes drilling into wood that much more precise. Now you might be wondering why do I need two different um, drill bits and that's because of the hole diameters that I need. Uh, the smaller ones are for the bolts that hold the uh, wasteboard to the snapmaker bed and the bigger ones are for the inserts that are used to clamp the workpiece. Now depending on what type of insert you would use you might want to get your sharpening place to modify your pilot hole according to your needs. Drilling the holes can be done in two different ways. Number one is using the step bit and drilling everything at once. Or number two, which is what you see right here, is me drilling pilot holes and then I would be using the step bit to countersink. Also drilling the pilot holes can be done in two different ways. Number one is using the marks that we did when we marked the holes. And number two is using the appropriate diameter drill bit and using the clamped board as a template and drilling the holes wherever they are.
now that we have finished drilling the pilot holes, it's time to figure out how to do the rest of the board. And that's quite easy. All you need is the drill bit that you used uh, in drilling the insert holes and a punch or another drill bit of the exact same diameter. Then what you do is thread the drill bit through the hole and move it two or three spaces over depending on how big your board is. And that basically is going to align it with the rest of the holes. So there we are. And then all you do is clamp it and take it to the drill press. Now that we have completed absolutely all pilot holes, it will be time to use the step drill bits and countersink the holes. I'll probably countersink them to about halfway, so let's get to it and we'll be back with actually testing it onto the Snapmaker and see how it all fits. We have the new board on the snap maker and all except one of the bolts are in the right place. As you can see, my bolts are quite long so I cannot tighten everything down until I'll actually cut them to size. However, all we're looking for in this video is that every bolt head is inside its own hole. Now let's do the final one and see what we have. We begin first by hand tightening the bolt to prevent any cross threading. And once we feel it protruding on the other side, we can take a drill or a driver and spin it quickly. And there, all the bolts are in the right place, so our method of using the old board as a template actually works. If you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video releases. Also, follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on Patreon. All the links are down in the description.